thought you guys have been able to um, kind of work your way out of uh, tough situations all year. What was it about their run at the start of the third that looked like it shaped you a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we didn't we didn't do a good job in our coverages, and they got they got some good looks from the three point line and we made them, and we couldn't find it. We couldn't find the basket. Uh, throughout the game on, on the threes. Uh, we haven't shot well all year, but we're not a three for 21 uh, three-point shooting no, team. Just, they all played us. They, they played us. I thought in that, uh, in that second quarter, I think we were eight, and they made it a run to close it to two. A couple of breaks could have gone our way. I thought we, we got they got to the loose ball quicker than us. Um, they, they played better than us tonight. And it, rarely can you say a guy has 20 and 12, but looks off. But Russ looked like he was off rhythm tonight. What, what did you see from him? Yeah, he didn't shoot the ball well. He didn't get into a, he didn't, he didn't get into a nice rhythm. I thought, I thought we had opportunities to, to get, get, get more um, opportunities on the line, but I, we, didn't, we didn't get there. I mean, particularly Brad, 25 shots and two free throws. We got to, we, we, we haven't shot the ball well from three, but normally when that happens, we can still manage to keep it competitive by getting to the free throw line. And that wasn't the case tonight. Yeah. Scott uh, Tatum's a great player, um, obviously, and he, he got it going. And I know Rui getting in foul trouble didn't help you there. Um, how difficult is it? to single him up and not bring doubles knowing that that opens up, for, opens them up for threes. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the uh, pick your poison. I thought yeah. he was making some tough shots. Uh, we put him on the free throw line. I mean, he almost shot more free throws than us. Uh, it's too many, it's too many. Rory got some, you know, some tough calls against them, you know, quick ones. And so he didn't get, in, he didn't get into a rhythm either on the offensively or defensively. And we tried a few different things. We tried to trap them. They swung it around for wide open threes and they knocked them in. So he, he's a he's a great player. He's not a great young player. He's a great player. He's going to be an MVP in this league soon. Fred. Hey, Scott. Um, what did you think of the looks you guys were three for 21 from three? What did you think of the looks you guys I mean, I, I don't know if, I mean, obviously I'll look at the film after the game, but, you know, watching it, I thought it was, there, there were some really, really good ones early. Uh, I thought all of our shooters had a good look to start, to start their, you know, offensive game. Um, and they didn't make it. So, but they, they, they bounced back. We bounced back. We, we worked our, butts off to be in this position to have a to have a um a home court to get get herself into the playoffs and looking forward to it looking forward to well i know indiana played well tonight and they've been playing well um but it's a great opportunity for us to go back to our home court and and reboot and play much better we're gonna have to shoot the ball better we're not I don't think we're going to have another bad shooting night. I thought the I thought the looks were pretty good. I know mean, there were some of them late, probably weren't as good, but at that point we were scrambling just to try to generate some threes. And is Russell? I noticed Russell was wearing a sleeve tonight. Is he is he dealing with anything on that front? No, not that I know of. I mean, if he is, he wouldn't tell me. Definitely won't tell you guys. Uh, but I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, not anything different than anybody. You know, we played a, a lot of games and everybody has, you know, aches and pains, but nothing, nothing serious. Matt Paris. Hey, Scott, just how much of a problem was the foul trouble to of what you guys wanted to do defensively and trying? Yeah, it was, it was, um, it was huge. I mean, it, it, it didn't cost us the game. I mean, we did foul them. It was 10 to two in the second quarter. I think it was 10 to six or 10 to five in the third quarter. Fouls, too many, too many. Put them on the line and gave them easy opportunities. We want to play with pace. 
they don't want to play as fast. And when you get them, when you foul, it slows the game up. They're able to regroup and get their breath. And we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do a good job. They all played us. Let's face it, we had a bad game. There's no question. We haven't had one of these in a long time. I think the last one was at Phoenix. That's almost two months ago. So we'll regroup. We've got a lot of confidence our guys are going to bounce back. Uh, that's one I love about this group. We've got the, that bounce back ability is pretty good. Why do you think you guys had your like worst game and probably the biggest game of the year? Um, I don't know. I mean, no one, nobody, good thing about it, nobody tried to play bad. We didn't play well. We didn't play well. We had a we struggled scoring the ball from the start. I thought our defense was pretty good in that first quarter. And, and I, I thought we, we, we missed a lot of easy threes and easy like layups, opportunities, baskets are around the shots are around the paint. Uh, I thought we played much better than the 21 points. And I thought we bounced back in that second quarter. And then the end of the second quarter, they, we put them on the line too many times and, and, and then the third quarter, we just could not make shots to keep up with their shot making. Thank you, Scott. Candace. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slow with this. Um, I, obviously, it's been a um, um, Davis hasn't had a game like this for a while, just like you guys haven't had a game like this for a while. Um, but when he is off, like this, is there something else that he can do besides float around the arc just to get himself into a rhythm? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, that's what he does. He's, he's a great three point shooter that had a bad, bad game shooting wise, but I thought they did a good job of being real physical. When you, when you can be physical without fouling, it takes, it takes our, knocks our balance off offensively. And we have to do a better job of being able to handle that. and. Our setups have to be better. Our screens have to be better because when you get knocked off balance and you don't have control of our offense um, with good precision and timing, it's it's tough. But uh, he will bounce back. He's not he's not an 0 for seven, uh, you know, 0 for seven three point shooter. I mean, there's times that he probably could have had some cuts. And I thought Ish tried to find or Howu tried to find him one time, but he was going away, wasn't looking. So, like I said, it's. Uh, we fought for this opportunity to have our home court and can't wait to play in front of our fans and, and play much better. Zach Kuma. Hey coach, uh, you talked about Rui being in foul trouble early on some quick whistles, but what can he personally learn from this experience? Well, this is, um, yeah, I don't know. This is the first time you know, he's been in the playoffs. It's a nether level. I know it's a play-in game, but it's still the playoffs. We're fighting for our lives, and we want to get in. We want to get into a, a, a seven-game series, and the level of intensity comes up. You got to be, you got to be ready for it. So uh, he's not the he's not the the only player in the league that's had a a, a tough start to their first uh, action after a regular season. He will bounce back. He will bounce back. Uh, but I thought. I thought actually he had a nice rhythm when he came back in and then he got another, another tough break on a, on a whistle, but, and then the, and then the fourth one uh, that the guy was falling and tripping and he just happened to be right in that spot and that took him out, but it's, it's, it's a learning experience for him, but I, I, I know he'll bounce back. All right. Last question to Fred. Hey Scott, uh, I was just curious when when Rui's in foul trouble, when Rui's in foul trouble, and you don't really have necessarily a big wing you can put on Tatum in those moments, and, and he's really hot. Do you consider doubling, and and what goes into the uh, the decision process not to do it as often? Well, we 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 tried a few times with our bigs, and we tried a few times with our perimeters. They they capitalize with good. They, one th I, I thought, I mean, it's really really dissected I thought Tristan really was a big factor in the win that guy is he played a man's game his screen setting and his ability to set screens and to roll and to the right spots 
and make a make a decision after that roll, I thought was high level. And so when we try to when we try to put extra heat on Tatum, Tatum's a six eight. He can pass over a lot of defenders. And I thought he did that, but I thought Tatum was, I mean, um, Tristan was able to catch and make the next play. He's like a, you know, that's what we call that, you know, that chase starts to happen and we were chasing and he was making the right plays, but that's, that's neither here nor there now. They outplayed us. They played a good game, give them credit. They get to move on to, to Brooklyn and they're obviously going to have a tough series there, but we have a chance to, to get to Philadelphia, but we got to take care of business on our home court. But that's what we—that's what we worked our, you know, our tails off to get in this position. Appreciate it, guys.